Optimal Workshop has an important part to play when it comes to doing user research. As companies are looking to scale up their user research maturity, um, having access to Optimal Workshop and our quantitative tools is a really important tool in your toolkit when it comes to your UX research products that you're using. Being able to test early and test often always leads to better decisions down the line when it comes to changing or improving your product. Working with Optimal Workshop has been super empowering for me as a designer because oftentimes when we have a hypothesis, we have to lean on analysts or engineers to help us either run tests and products and it can be sometimes just a lot of time and resources needed, but with Optimal Workshop, I'm given the keys to the investigation myself. So when I have my hypothesis, I can quickly run tests with customers and get results sometimes in a day. It's like, poof, magic. It also really helps us test at scale. So one of the projects that we were working on recently, we were able to run 600 different tree studies. And in the process of doing those, we really narrowed in on a direction that we feel confident launching in product because it could have a really major impact. So Optimal Workshop has been both empowering and has helped us design with data-backed decisions. They started to see the way where these normal use cases could be augmented slightly or stacked on top of each other in the way that using a study with Optimal Workshop once was good, but when you could use them multiple times to learn, iterate, retest and learn a little bit more, became really, really useful. Right now, we're mostly working around this idea of navigation and helping customers wayfind around our product. And something that was really awesome about Optimal Workshop is that we got to utilize the card sorting tool and also TreeJack tool to get at how customers think about wayfinding without having UI as a distraction. And then we got to test multiple variations as a tree test. And ultimately, Optimal Workshop compared the success rates for the different tests. And that's how we did our cycle of narrowing and exploring and narrowing just to kind of see, okay, if we make this one change, how will it affect the success rates? And Ultimately, we also got to test with multiple cohorts. So at the end of all of our testing rounds, we had tested with over 600 customers and felt really confident in our design direction. The flagship part of our tool set is about taxonomy and information architecture. I often see that getting these correct is like setting up the frame of a building. You know, they're not glamorous, they don't look beautiful, but when you get them right, you know that the cladding and the interior that you add around the outside is gonna hold up well. And I'd say that that is really where we give a great advantage is being able to make sure that all of the beautiful visual work that's done on top, all of those fantastic joyful interactions that are layered in for your users to have fun with are all built on top of a framework that makes sure that they can easily understand the buttons they're clicking on, the buttons are clearly able to be found on the page and there's no distractors there. And that the, the language just intuitively makes sense to people as they're using products.